So I have some aliases here and if you can see some of them are just going to open Vim, open a certain file in Vim and uh, you know it works if I'm in a terminal right I can open all sorts of files that I'm probably going to want to open often uh, but uh, I can't actually use it in Vim because uh, well I can't include it in my Vim script because it's not Vim script so how do we how do we make it work in Vim because maybe I want to open you know VS I want to open convict.h without needing to like exit Vim first so yeah how do we do that well we probably want to make the Vim script version of these and you know you probably don't want to do it manually or at least one by one you know if you edit your alias in your uh, your ZSH aliases then you need to update the Vim script version which is you know kind of a pain so what we can do instead is parse these lines first such that we match uh, the lines you want so for example here we want the uh, ones where there is V space is going to open Vim and yeah and we want the path here and I guess uh, we have home here and you might have tilde so you can you know you can match two of them so what we can do is you said so first uh, we have uh, what is it called any alphanumeric character or characters as the name here right and then we have uh, equals well I don't know if you can you know use or add some space here but maybe you can so I guess we can uh, do space or I guess space or tab right and then equals and then we have a quote and if you have a quote you probably should make this a uh, double quote and I guess you know you could use double quotes or single quote for quoting the alias so y we can you know we can use both of them so this is going to match either and we have the closing quote and then here we have the actual command right and what we want is we want a V so this is just going to match if the V is you know anywhere if it's next to equals or not but uh, or not equals but the quote right so we want V and then we want the path to the file so uh, for that we can just uh, you know list all the things that can be a file name right so slash dot uh, underscore dash and yeah well if you have like a file name with spaces on it then <laughs> I don't know I don't know you you need to do something else you need to modify th this part but uh, yeah so let's see if this works so I'm going to use P here for print it's going to print the match pattern and we have N which is going to only print if um, no, it's not gonna print everything it's going to print only the match pattern so let's see if this works this is kind of wrong so we're going to make this so we have at least like one of these the alice name right this is just like a star right but uh, we're requiring there be at least one of these right and you know if you put the number here this this is the min this is the max and if you only put one number it's going to match exactly one occurrence of these right 
So, but that's not a problem. <laughs> well, I guess you know we should make the also this right because we want to match the whole path of to the file. So, and we can do dot star here. So it's going to match whatever until the end uh, quotes. So I guess the problem was this dash. I guess I don't know why, but uh, and then let's uh, match until the end of the line, right? And then we want to print our things here. We want to print the alias name, and then we want to print the uh, path, right? Well, I guess you know you can print the V here. I know. I'm gonna print the path. And that didn't work. <laughs> and uh, oh, wait. It looks like I forgot the damn. Uh, what's it called? This, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So the dollar sign and the tilde just uh, disappeared for some reason, but uh, now we have the uh, what we want here. And now we can just make our turn this into a Vim script. And let's say I want to uh, make this work in normal mode. And you know, I'll just do for to open the file, I guess I'll just use edit, right? CR for enter and um, let me see. Uh, wait. What? Where is our NN here? <laughs> um, where's our NN? We have like what? Oh, is it okay? So now we have our film script, and yeah, that, that that should work now. So and then we can uh, output it to you know some file. And what you can do also is uh, you, you can make this a while loop, right? And um, what you can do is check first. If the file, so the ZSH aliases, so you can do if you have updated the alias, um, if it's newer than the another file that uh, your Vim script, so you know the output of this so it, maybe if you've saved that in a file you can do dot you know the file name I have saved mine to this and so it's gonna exit is gonna replace or it's gonna update the uh, the Vim script if you have updated the ZSH aliases and then you know uh, you can just sleep so this command is going to loop forever but first it's going to test if you have updated the aliases file and if you have it's going to execute the set command and if not it's gonna sleep for 60 seconds uh, so every 60 seconds it's going to loop this and you know check check first and if not it's gonna wait and then for another 60 seconds and then you know you can put this into a file and that way every time well at least every uh, 60 seconds I guess it's gonna update if it needs to update right let's see if this will work well it, it will work but you know file I don't know cat.file 
now we have our vim script and you know you can do the while loop as shown before 